Hello, this is Yogeshwar 7000 again and I'm back on my series on stories from the Puranas. And today we'll be talking about a story which is in continuation to our last video story about two demons, Madhu and Ketaba, who had appeared from the years of Lord Vishnu, who was sleeping on the ocean at the time of universal dissolution which is pralaya as it's called in sanskrit these demons obtained powerful boons by meditating on the goddess that they would become invincible in the worlds of suras and asuras and nobody could defeat them suras are gods and asuras are demons and also they got another boon which gave them the power that they could only die whenever they wished to which is called Ichamrityu in Sanskrit so with the power of these boons which they got from the Devi or the goddess of the universe these demons challenged Lord Brahma and Lord Brahma was very concerned so he approached Lord Vishnu his creator and uh, he tried to wake him up because he was in Nidra Mudra meaning which he was in a meditative sleep at that time and with the help of the goddess he could finally wake Vishnu up and once Vishnu woke up then he understood what's going on Brahma explained him everything and uh, hearing Brahma's situation Lord Vishnu said that now you should not worry Lord Brahma you should go and rest in peace because I will definitely take care of these two demons and I will certainly kill them so Lord Brahma was relieved and uh, he went to his abode which was the Lotus at that point of time coming out of the navel of Lord Vishnu and rested there and in the meanwhile, while Brahma was explaining his situation to Lord Vishnu, these two proud and powerful Dhanavas or demons, they appeared there looking in for Brahma. They came in search of Brahma. And seeing Brahma near Lord Vishnu, they said, Oh, so you have fled and come here. You cannot ex escape. Please fight or I am going to kill you. And I will kill him also who sleeps on the bed of a serpent, which is Lord Vishnu. As we know that Lord Vishnu sleeps on a bed of Ananta, the divine serpent. And uh, when Lord Vishnu heard this, he was kind of shocked that these two demons are challenging him and threatening to kim kill him as well after killing Lord Brahma. So Lord Vishnu talked to these demons and told them that O oh, two demons you are mad for war you come and fight with me as you like I'm going to curb your pride you powerful demons if you trust me come and fight and hearing this challenge from Lord Vishnu these two demons became very angry uh, the demon called Madhu became so angry that he started the fight with Lord Vis Vishnu first and uh, this was a hand-to-hand -hand fight between Madhu and Lord Vishnu while Ketaba the other demon was standing and watching that fight and this fight continued for long so much so that both Lord Vishnu and Madhu became tired and then Ketaba the other demon came up and began to fight with Lord Vishnu and this fight also continued for a long time it was again a hand-to-hand -hand fight and both were extremely powerful and ultimately this fight lasted for a long long time and Lord Vishnu this time became tired and he could see that these two demons were not tired at all and thus 5,000 years passed away and then Lord Vishnu began to think that how am I gonna kill them 
they have got a boon from the Devi or the Adi Shakti or the Devi or the goddess of the universe that they will have Icha Mrityu meaning which they can only die when they wish to. So he was pondering about this big problem while seeing Lord Vishnu he, these two demons again spoke to him with a lot of pride and a lot of big ego saying that oh Vishnu if you feel tired if you have no strength to fight with us then please raise your folded palms on your head and acknowledge that you are our servant or if you want you can continue fighting so that's the challenge they gave Vishnu again after fighting with Lord Vishnu for 5,000 years and they even told him that we are going to take your life first this time they told Lord Vishnu earlier they told Lord Brahma that they're going to take his life and then Vishnu but here again after 5,000 years they challenged Lord Vishnu again and they threatened him that we are going to take your life first and then we are going to slay the four-faced Brahma and uh, Vishnu was again very concerned however Vishnu has a very smart very sharp brain as we all know and he's cool-headed so he's told to them in very very sweet words he said oh two great demons nobody fights with uh, anybody who is tired and who's weaponless and who's a child and who's fallen these are the categories of people which nobody fights with because this is against the principles of war this is the dharma of the heroes that's what he said but he said i fought with both of you for five thousand years now i'm single-handed you're two and both are equally powerful and both of you kept resting at intervals so first madhu came to fight Kautuba was resting, then Kautuba came to fight, and Madhu was resting. So you took turns in resting. However, I need to rest now, and I will fight with you after I rest, as per the rules of warfare. So when Lord Vishnu explained to these demons in these nice words and kind of convinced them, then the two demons agreed and said okay well we'll take we'll let you take a break and we'll fight with you whenever you're ready to fight again now the four armed vishnu saw them now they're at reasonable safe distance from them and now he began to think again how can i kill them because the supreme devi or the goddess has given them itcha mrityu meaning once again that they can only die whenever they wish to how can I fight them how will I how will I deal with this big problem and then while he was thinking Lord Vishnu saw the Devi in the air and Lord Vishnu talked to the Devi and said oh Devi I bow down to you now these two demons are ready to kill me I've been fighting with them for 5,000 years now you've given them Icha Mrityu meaning which they can die whenever they wish to they are ready to kill Brahma as well after they kill me so I am now at a situation where I don't know what to do and I want to come under your protection oh mother you're the remover of all the gods troubles and these two demons are extremely powerful and I am very tired as well and these demons are not tired because you've given them the boon that they will be extremely powerful both in the worlds of the demons and the gods so what do I do now now please please help I'm come I'm coming under your shelter so please do something now after Lord Vishnu praised the goddess the goddess smiled at Vishnu from the air and she encouraged Lord Vishnu again O Deva fight again and these two big demons will be deluded by my Maya and once they get deluded by my Maya and Maya is illusion so she said that I'm gonna create an illusion to these two demons and once they are deluded by my illusion 
they would be slain by you I'm going to delude them by my side glance and then as soon as they are deluded by my Maya or illusion please kill these two demons so this is the suggestion that Devi gave to Lord Vishnu and once Lord Vishnu heard the consolation of the Devi or the goddess he went again to the scene of the battle in the middle of that ocean where the two powerful demons were ready to fight and once they saw Lord Vishnu they, they said okay oh four, four armed one we stand now be ready for battle and this time we're surely gonna kill you and then Madhu and Ketaba came to fight again and then as soon as Lord Vishnu saw these two demons he stuck them immediately by his fist and then these two demons also stuck Lord Vishnu with their fists and this fighting continued now once these two big demons were fighting with Lord Vishnu the Devi or the goddess appeared and they and she looked at these two asuras or these two demons with side long glances of love and amorous feelings which were like arrows from Kamadeva or Cupid and these two deityas or demons Deitya is another word for demons in Sanskrit became so fascinated by the side glances of the Devi or the goddess that they started to look at the Devi with a lot of pleasure and of course these were kind of arrows coming from Cupid or Kamadeva and these were amorous glances and then as soon as the concentration of these two demons was broken and they started to look at the side glance of the Devi with a lot of pleasure and their minds moved away from the battlefield Lord Vishnu immediately took advantage of this and he smiled and he said in a voice saying that O oh, two great heroes so he kind of praised these two Danavas or demons that I'm very impressed by the way you fought you are extremely powerful please ask me for a boon and I will grant you one and he knew exactly that the Devi had kind of mesmerized them and these were these two demons were kind of in hypnotic situation because of the Maya or the illusion created by the Devi so they were kind of hypnotized that's the right word he, they were not in a hypnotic situation but they were hypnotized by the Devi and then these demons when they heard that Lord Vishnu is offering them boons their pride got hurt and then they told Lord Vishnu why would you want to give us anything we're not beggars we don't want anything from you O Lord of the Devas instead we will give you whatever you decide or whatever you desire we are donors we are not the receivers so Lord Vishnu we are also happy to see the way you fought you fought very nicely as well you were a good fighter so ask for a boon from us that's what Madhu and Ketaba said because their, con their concentration was broken and they were hypnotized by the Maya or the illusion of the Devi and seeing this opportunity Lord Vishnu immediately said okay fine in case you want to give a boon to me this is what I want my demand from you is that I want that both of you should be killed by me that's the boon Lord Vishnu asked from this these demons in return 
and the moment Lord Vishnu asked for this boon from these demons they could not have gone back on their word they knew they were tricked so what they did was they also tried to counter this trick with another trick they said okay we will grant you this boon that we will be killed by you however we are ready to be killed by you but please Lord Vishnu kill us on a solid earth which has no water and keep your word so they also tried to trick Vishnu because they knew there was water everywhere there was no solid earth so they said okay fine we grant you this boon we grant you this wish that both of us demons will be killed by you however we should be killed only on solid earth not on water so hearing this Lord Vishnu laughed and he remembered his Sudarshan chakra his discus his disc and said okay I will kill you both in this on the vast solid spot spot and what he did was he expanded his own thighs and showed to the Dhanavas or the demons the solid earth on the surface of water and this and he told them that look there this is solid there's no water here please put your heads here on my thigh which was expanded by Lord Vishnu I will keep my word you keep your word put your heads here and I'm gonna cut your heads off with my Sudarshan Chakra and then once Lord Vishnu expanded his thighs these two demons also countered by bringing up their size also to a very large size so their body is expanded to 10,000 yojanas that's a unit of distance which is extremely large and once these demons expanded their size to 10,000 yojanas then Lord Vishnu also extended his thighs to twice that amount so then these two demons knew well there's no end we'll keep expanding our size and Lord Vishnu is gonna keep expanding the size of his thighs there's no escape from this and they put their heads on the thighs of Vishnu and Vishnu cut off their heads immediately with his Sudarshan chakra or his disc and then after Madhu and Ketaba passed away when they were killed the marrow of their bodies filled the ocean which is called Medha in Sanskrit so that marrow the solid mass which came out from bodies of these two demons actually became earth and that's how we see this earth with the solid solid structure here or a a solid expanse what we see here that is coming from the marrow of these two demons Madhu and Kaitabha and for this reason the earth is called Medhini so the Medha marrow of these demons created this solid earth and the earth is named as Medhini so thus this story ends with the killing of these two demons Madhu and Ketuba hopefully you enjoyed it and in the meanwhile I will request you since this is coming directly to from the Puranas please have complete faith and belief in these stories subscribe to my channel and check out my website there is a link below and I'll see you with an interesting continuation to my stories from the Puranas very soon goodbye